Hi everybody, my name is Brie and welcome back to my channel, Brie's Arts. Alright you guys, I am so excited about today's video because we are going to be doing some Pinterest inspired fall DIYs. I don't know about you guys, but my Pinterest feed is exploding with fall inspiration. And I'm gonna tell you, I am living for it. So I am so excited, you guys, to show you what I've done today with some Dollar Tree items and a little bit of scrap wood that I found in my garage. Now with all of that being said, you guys, let's get into the first DIY. And here we go, DIY number one. And look at these beautiful pumpkins. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? It does say hand painted swirls. We're gonna do things a little bit differently. So I found these uh, pieces of scrap wood in my garage. They're about, what, four inches? The one is about, I don't know, 12 inches. The other one is like eight inches. I'm using celery and moss from Waverly. And whap! Oh, just wait a second. My hands have changed. <laughs> Those are Abby's hands, actually. My daughter, she wanted to be part of it. And actually, she did paint the celery one. So I will give her credit for that, for sure. And so I got these stencils from... These ones, I believe, are from the Dollar Tree. And then um, they, these are awesome. You can reuse them and they're really easy to peel and stick. So I'm using this little swirly kind of flower looking one. And this will go on the celery colored block here. So I'm just, you know, trying to figure out where do I want it? Which way? Which way? Which way? And there, I have decided it will go in that corner. Oh, but <laughs> you can see how easily it came off there. So just a quick reposition and smooth it down. There we go. And now grabbing my white chalk paint and my dab brush, I am just going to dab, 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 dab on this stencil. And you can see like I'm using a big dabby brush because I could not find my little one. It's obviously much easier and you have more control when you use a small one. However, I couldn't find mine. So the big one it is and it worked just fine just fine and I like using the dabby brushes only because it gives you like it's not full coverage so you know it's a little bit I don't want to say splotchy but it's splotchy <laughs> oh and there Abby is giving me direction as to where to put the next um, the next pattern here so I put it up in the other corner you can see and I'm literally just pouncing up and down and uh, doing the same thing <laughs> the words escaped me for a second bounce 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 dab 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 and look at this perfect it was perfect it's absolutely perfect and so this stencil i got at dollarama i don't know if they have the same pattern at dollar tree or not i haven't seen it but um hopefully they do and if not you can just use the same pattern as you did before and so i'm doing the same thing laying it down um dabbing with my dabby brush you can see there that i kind of uh, went over the edges there um, with my white chalk paint so i'm just using the moss color went over top of it fixed it up no problem and then I am just using the stencil over and over again of course I'm letting the paint underneath dry before I use the stencil again over top like this and just pounce up and down pounce up and down and look at that isn't it so pretty I had oh I love how these pumpkins came out you guys and so I have a few of these little knobs that I got at my local thrift store look in those little bags you guys you know that they have up at, at mine they're all on a wall like hung up and you can find a whole bunch of hardware and stuff like that in those little bags that's where I found these and I think I got like 10 of them for three bucks or something um, but I used some E6000 and my hot glue E6000 is for the permanent hold, hot glue is for the immediate hold, and I'm just attaching these knobs to the tops of my wooden blocks, and those are going to be the peduncles for our pumpkins. 
And so I'm using this laser cut leaf just to embellish a little bit on my pumpkin here. This is the tall one. And I did a quick finger bow with some twine and some hot glue and placed that at the top. And then here you can see, you know, when you get rid of the fuzzies with the lighter, that's what I just did there, gluing that other bow to the top. And that is it for these cute pumpkins. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? So high end, so beautiful. I am seriously in love with these. you guys I really hope that you're enjoying this video today and I just wanted to pop in just to talk a little bit about our sponsor during hard times it can be very difficult if you don't have anyone to talk to and being alone with your thoughts is a very isolating feeling and it can allow negativity to consume you that is why I am so honored and excited that this video is sponsored by better help BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat therapy sessions. There is a broad range of expertise with BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist networks that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. All you have to do is fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you get matched with a therapist in as little as 48 hours. Then you schedule secure video and phone sessions, plus you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential. You can also request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. So for a 10% discount off your first month, please click the link down in my description box. It's betterhelp.com backslash breeze. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com backslash breeze. I really do encourage you to join the 3 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health and joined BetterHelp. I want to thank BetterHelp for partnering up with me in today's video. And with all of that being said, let's get back into those projects. And here we go, Pinterest inspo DIY number two. And look at this, isn't this so cute? I love this. Love, love, love this pumpkin. So what we're going to do is we are using a Dollar Tree sign. I'm sorry, I did not film the front of it, but that's the one that I'm using, the Christmas one. And I took the wonderful off of the, the front there, took out the staples and the hanger, sanded it down, rock and roll, good to go. And so here I am just going to paint up the back, ba blam with my white chalk paint. And I only did one coat. It's a very, very rough coat. You can kind of see the streakies because we're making like a rustic looking kind of fence, right, on the back here. So I'm using my sanding block and just, you know, roughing it up a little bit. And then I'm using my square that I got at the Dollar Tree and a pencil. And I'm just creating the lines in like the wood, right? And uh, going all the way across there with my pencil. I've seen this technique used like multiple times on a whole bunch of different channels. And watch this. So now I'm just gonna smudge that pencil. Look at how those lines come out. It's insane, look at that. It looks like it's actually wood. Like, come on now, come on, love it. And so here is a grapevine wreath that I got at the Dollar Tree and this absolutely stunning, gorgeous ribbon I got at Michael's last year. It's so beautiful, but of course you can use any ribbon you want to, you guys. And we're just gonna make a very simple two looped bow. So I went around, I believe it was four times, like with four folds, cut it off. And then I am going to grab some lace ribbon that I got at the Dollar Tree. 
and I'm just going to unravel this. I'm not sure why I left all of this in the video. There we go. And just find the end, clip off the end. <laughs> Oh goodness, Brie, what are you doing? And so just scrunching up the middle of that bow and using that lace to make the center. Give it a nice tug and tie it into a knot and having those tails fall down in the center there. And then I do fluff this multiple times during this, <laughs> during this DIY, you guys. But you know, floof the bow. That is some pretty amazing bow floofage. <laughs> okay, and so, uh, yep, still fluffing, floofing, floofing. All right, and what I'm gonna do here is we are going to first, I do use a little bit of hot glue there just to keep the bow um, on the wreath there. And then I am going to take some of my uh, twine that I got at the Dollar Tree, and we are just going to go around the center and actually around the wreath as well, um, just to secure that bow on there really, really good. So I, you know, just attach it round and around, spin, spin, spin. I think I go around three times, four times, four times. There we go. And of course, you know, stop to uh, do some floofaging. <laughs> and we're just gonna tie that in a knot on the back. And now your bow is nice and secure. If you don't wanna use that hot glue, don't. Like I just, you know, put it there so that it wouldn't like flopsy around while I was uh, doing the twine. But if you don't want to use it, don't use it. Oh, and here's floofage number 650. There you go. That bow is floofed <laughs> and so i am going to oh <laughs> i'm floofing again girl wait till the end <laughs> and so now i am just going to take some of my lamb's ear now one of my lovely subscribers did send me some of this lamb's ear is from walmart i have also gotten it off of amazon i will try to link that down in the description box if you guys are interested especially we in canada i've never seen it in a canadian walmart um i don't know why it's so different than the states but man like oh i wish we had the same things it's crazy and so I just attached those uh, um, lamb's ear to the wreath. And now I'm just using a paint stick that I got at Dollarama and my miter shears. And my miter shears would not cut this, but it did give me like a good indent so I could snap it right off. And this is going to be our peduncle because this is a cute little pumpkin, obviously. And if you want to, you know, you can paint this peduncle. I just wanted to leave it the natural wood color. I thought it was really, really pretty. And so I'm just kind of positioning it on there, seeing exactly where I want it to go. And I am going to hot glue that directly to the board. And there we go. Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. And then just a little bit of hot glue at the bottom. And we'll put a little bit of hot glue at the top to secure that wreath down. And that's it for this, you guys. I think it's so freaking cute. Let me know what you think. Right, you guys so I really do hope that you're enjoying today's projects and I just wanted to pop in here to remind you that if you like home decor on a budget things that look you know super high-end but you hardly spent any money on them you know got the stuff at the dollar store then you have come to the right place 
So make sure you tap that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure your notification bell is set to all so that you don't miss any of my uploads. I want to say thank you to each and every one of my breezers, all of my old subscribers, my new subscribers, and everybody in between. You guys mean the world to me, so... And with that being said, let's get back into those projects. All right, you guys, this is the last one, DIY number three, and legit, this is best for last. This is my favorite. Look at this these beautiful pumpkins. They're so cute. Love, love, love. And by the way, I will be putting all of the um, Pinterest inspired uh, channels down in my description box. So make sure you check it out. So what we're doing here, we're taking these plaques from Dollar Tree. You could see there, I, we're gonna cut a line across, then we're gonna go down the middle, across, and then down the middle because we need two of these plaques to create these pumpkins. So you can see there, I cut it across and then down the middle and the, it lines up. So I said, I cut, no, my dad cut. See, there he is, he's, he's measuring stuff and cutting stuff and he's very precise down to, you know, one thirty second of an inch. He was on it. Thank you so much, dad. I love you. You're such a great help. And so here I am using my antique wax and we're just gonna give all three of these pieces a nice coat using my baby wipe to wipe off the excess here. And we're gonna go all the way around. I do end up doing the back of this as well. And now I wanted it to kind of have, you know, an ombre effect almost. So I am going across the top there with just another coat after the first coat is dry, just around the edges, you know, on the top with that antique wax to kind of, you know, like it's darker and it kind of fades down. And then I take my sanding block and I am just roughing up the edges, bringing out the natural wood color. I wanted this pumpkin to look super rustic and oh, I just, I can't even tell you. I can't wait until you see the end result. There's, oh, it's so beautiful. And so here I am taking uh, my pencil and I'm marking where I am going to drill some holes. So I just eyeballed it, you guys. I didn't feel the need to measure. If you wanna measure, make sure everything is all good, you go for it. And so I'm just going to grab my power drill, drill some pilot holes, because I wasn't 100% sure how well this was going to go, because I do have to make fairly like big holes. Uh, word to the wise, you do not have to drill these pilot holes, just use your big drill bit, it's all good. I kind of did three different sizes of drill bits, um, just to be safe, but then um, you can absolutely just use a big drill bit, and it drills perfectly. So here, you can see, now this is the big drill bit that I'm using here, and drill, 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 making all of these holes. Now the reason why we wanna make bigger holes like that, you see, because we're gonna thread some rope. So we're gonna do the same thing on both of these pieces. Wah -bam! Just like that. <laughs> Magical. And so here is the uh, nautical rope that we're gonna use. This is from the Dollar Tree. There are two different thicknesses. This is kind of like the thinner of those two. And so we are just going to thread that rope through those holes there to bring all of our pieces together. Oh my goodness, I freaking love these pumpkins. I love them. They're my favorite thing, okay. And so, you know, just uh, threading those through, using some hot glue, making sure we're um, attaching those pieces on an angle, and then gluing those down so that they stay nice and secure. And then I did just cut off a little bit of that excess. It doesn't really matter, you guys, this is the back. Like, if you're super concerned about it, you know, you could do this much more perfectly than I did. I wasn't too worried about it, but we are going to do that with all four of the the joiners that or the joints, I guess, that we're making here, just like that. And so, because I loved the first one so much, I did a second one. Look at how cute this is. Um, my dad cut these for me as well, 
And so um, we're gonna do the exact same thing. However, this one is going to be painted up with my white chalk paint, just like that. My transitions are getting amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just taking just a teeny little bit of antique wax, like just a hint um, to give this a little bit of distressing. And go around, it, like I used kind of like a curved motion when I was doing that because, you know, these are pumpkins, so we want to kind of give that illusion. And then, ring, ring. <laughs> I did the holes in that one as well. And of course, thread the rope through just like I did with that first one. Now you guys, to figure out what I was going to do for the peduncles on these pumpkins took me hours. This was trial and error and finally, finally I came up with this idea just to use some wired jute. I am just going to twist it off in a point and then I'm just going to kind of form the stem of a pumpkin using the jute. So um, you can see there, I kind of do, kind of almost looks like a coat hanger. You know what I mean? Like um, at the bottom there, just twisting this wire jute around and around. The wire jute is from Dollar Tree and just going around and around and around and around and around and forming this shape. And so I guess I wanted that to be just a little bit wider. Oh, maybe not. No, you just have to you, like manipulate the wire. That's all you need to do. You can make it whatever shape you want. Um, just keep on spinning that wire jute cord around and around until you have the shape that you want. It's so easy and I, oh, I just, I can't even get over how much I love how this project came out, you guys. I can't get over it. And so you can see here, I'm just manipulating the shape, cutting off the excess. And then I do believe I use a little bit of hot glue just to secure it down. Do I? I don't remember. I think I do. Oh, maybe not. I just kind of tucked it in, I guess. And so there's my peduncle. Look at the, look at the peduncles made out of wired jute who woulda thunk it <laughs> and here i'm just using a little bit of hot glue and we are going to adhere our peduncles to the top of our pumpkins oh my goodness look at that so we're going to do that for each one of these there's one and here's our second one with some hot glue, smash that on the top, and that is it. Look at those, oh my goodness, so cute. Right, you guys that is it for these Pinterest inspired fall DIYs again like you can find so much inspiration on Pinterest if you are not checking that platform out you guys you are missing out please check Pinterest out give your favorite creator some love and let me know down in the comments which one of these is your favorite of course I would like to thank better help for sponsoring today's video and if you like what you see do me a solid tap that like button maybe subscribe tell your friends you know all of that jazz stay tuned for the gag reel bye guys all right you guys i really hope that you are enjoying these oh i'm itchy <laughs> Got an itch! <laughs>
More peppy. Hmm? More peppy. New peppy. Research is always more peppy. No. no. That's that's Welcome what back I back to my channel. Research! Yeah, yeah, do that. I don't even know what I said. What did I even say? What have I said so far? I have no freaking clue. Ugh. All right, you guys, I am so excited about today's video. Not only are we doing some Pinterest in... <laughs> oh God, and now the bird's gonna start, hey? Like, we've been talking. She hasn't said a, she has not said anything. And then as soon as I start filming, she starts losing her mind. All right, you guys. So I absolutely can't stand the fact that my son is chewing right in my ear. Stop it. <laughs> um, what else? What else? Come here, baby boy. Look at this turkey. <laughs> Any cute? All right, you guys. I am so excited about today's video because not only is it, uh, man. <laughs> 